is another video in our series of MX displays and meters. The purpose of this video is to hopefully clear up some questions on our PRA display. This is our display that has outputs, has a pulse output and an analog output. We get a lot of questions from customers that are confused on number one, how to loop power a device and they get confused because it also acts as an alternate power supply. The same two connections in our display and we're going to go through all of that. So if you take a look here, this is our wiring diagram for our PRA display. And terminals 9 and 10, I think are where the confusion comes from, whereas they are both an analog output and an alternate power supply. So what is a loop power device in terms of instrumentation? It just means that the two wires that carry the 24 volt DC power to the device share the same, same two wires share an analog signal. So you have 24 volt DC passing through them and an analog signal. First thing we're going to look at is how to alternately power the display using terminals 9 and 10 just with 24 volts. So this is our PRA display and if you connect it to a 24 volt power supply it's going to act as an alternate power, power supply for the display, meaning you can take the battery out and simply use this to power it. So here it is. If we, if we take the battery out, we still have power. That's just bringing 24 volts directly into the display, terminals 9 and 10, as an alternate power supply. If we disconnect the power, the display goes off. And all we would have to do in that case is just simply put the battery back in and the display comes back on. So to power the, the analog output, we're also going to use 24 volts, but we're also going to share those wires with an analog signal. So here we have a device that's going to send an analog signal, and here we have a 24 volt power supply. Just a portable power supply. You can use a conventional power supply like this. This is just to show you how a loop power device works. So if we connect 24 volts to our PRA display and share that with an analog output, we now have an analog output energized. So we're now, as you can see, this meter is in service. There's just water flowing through it at around 13 gallons an hour. Now, if we hook up a multimeter to this loop that's capable of reading current, we should see the current value change as we increase or decrease flow. So we'll just make a connection. And as you can see on the multimeter, we're currently reading around 10.7 milliamps. And you can focus on the meter display and I'm going to increase the flow rate. So as you see the flow rate climb, we're now at around 16 and a half gallons an hour. If you look on the multimeter, we're up to 12.7 milliamps. And I can increase flow again, and you'll see the milliamp value increase as the flow rate on our display has now increased to 17.3 gallons an hour. And I can do the same thing if I decrease. As I decrease flow on our meter, You can see it going down now. And you can see the milliamp value is also decreasing. So the proportional. And that's really all there is to energizing an analog output. You just have to share the same two wires that the power supply has with an analog signal. I hope that clears up any questions you have. Um, stay tuned for future videos. Thanks.